Yesterday, some friends and I were talking, and one of them came to an epiphany. He theorized that the reason that insults and other such things online are being referred to as cyber violence or even just plain violence was as a way to justify real-world physical retaliation violence. Now, I have spoken about how stupid I think online things being referred to as violence is, and my working theory was that it was a way to garner support or sympathy. I never once thought that it was a sort of justification method. But in the last couple of weeks, I think that might be what's going on, or at least a result of it. There has been a rather strange justification going on for attacking people because they said something online, or did something online. The biggest example that I can point to right now is the attack on Richard Spencer. Let me start by saying I do not like the man. I do not support the man. A lot of the stuff he said makes me sick to my core. All that said, he has not said or done anything illegal. And the justification for punching him was, well, he's a Nazi, and he said a lot of mean things online. Now, he was actually in an interview where he said that he wasn't a Nazi. Maybe it's my own naivete talking or my own stupidity, but if a person says they aren't a Nazi, I tend to believe them because Nazis tend to be proud of being Nazis. But that aside, he has not done anything illegal. He's not said anything illegal. He was just in an interview and someone just punches him. And people have said, oh, well, it's, it's obviously justified. Have you seen the stuff he's said online? He's, he's not physically attacked anyone. How, how can you justify using violence against someone that has not done anything? It, and I've seen a lot of other stories. Uh, there was a person that ended up getting shot because he had a swastika. A swastika tattoo on his arm. Turns out he wasn't a Nazi either. Uh, there was a story that I heard, I'm not sure if this one's true or not, about a woman, I think it was in Australia, getting punched because, and this is the part I do remember seeing in it, she looked like a fascist. Again, whether that's true or not, I'm not sure because I haven't been able to find that article again. But I do remember seeing it. I've seen a lot of other examples of growing hostility and actual physical force against people for no other reasoning than, well, they said mean stuff online. This is very scary to me. I've never been one to believe an eye for an eye because as the saying goes, it will leave the whole world blind. But uh, a real eye for a digital eye? Are you insane? Uh, th this is very bizarre. It's actually rather brilliant that if this was the idea behind it, it was ingenious. Scare people into thinking that insults are actual violence. So you are defending yourself against violence by attacking someone because they insulted you online. It's, it's rather genius, and if this actually becomes a thing, 
it's going to be a very terrifying world we live in. Again, maybe it's my own naivety talking, but I don't believe violence solves anything. You can yell at me till the cows come home that there are some people that you just can't uh, stop with words or you can't convince of things, and I will say, absolutely, I agree with that. Let them talk. Let them show to the world that they are an idiot. Do not attack them and prove them right. It's that simple. It really is. I hope that this is just a thing that's happening right now because of all the built-up hostility and this goes away in a little bit. Because if not, this is a very scary precedent that's being set. And I don't want to live in a world where people can just slug someone for having been insulted online. And that being an actual justification. Oh, uh, uh, well, it would maybe stop uh, a lot of the... Uh, insults online. No, it would, like I said, it would leave a lot of people injured or even dead from just being called stupid or even disagreeing online. That's, that's really, really terrifying. Whew. Anyway, this has just been Math Machine uh, talking about what I hope is me being hyperbolic and expressing an idea that goes nowhere. Peace out.